Well, good morning. Welcome to North Wake. As a part of our service this morning, we are going to uh, have a dedication service of some of our children. Uh, in Mark 13, Mark 10, 13, people were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like little children will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms and put his arms on them and blessed them. And so we have the privilege this morning of welcoming uh, to this place, asking God to bless them, to, Jesus, to wrap his arm around eight of our little, uh, well, not so little, some of them are not so little, uh, our children. That blessing most freely flows into the lives of these children through their parents uh, in their lives. Parents who will pray for their children. Uh, parents who will speak their faith. Deuteronomy 6 says, Impress upon your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And parents who will model their faith. Uh, who who, say, who uh, can say to their children the words of the Apostle Paul, Follow me as I follow the example of Christ. And so uh, this morning we're placing not only these little ones before the Lord, but their parents as well. And so I want to introduce and invite them to come forward uh, as I call their name. So we have Mike and Sylvia Basham, who are dedicating their children, Hugo Adrian Basham, and Jessica Hannah Basham, and Allie Madison Basham. Uh, we have Josh and Anna Kelly Chapman, who are dedicating their daughter, Clara Ray Chapman. And we have Kat Carson and Ashley Cobb, who are dedicating their son, Grayson Pageant. And Jake and Becky Hatfield, who are dedicating their son, Ellis Robert. And Matthew and Dina Keithley, are dedicating their daughter, Jade Marion Keithley. And Eddie and Erica Wu are dedicating their daughter, Amelia Grace. In Deuteronomy 6, what Jesus would later highlight as the greatest of commandments, he entrusted to parents. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord with your Lord, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I've commanded you, you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. As parents this morning, you're committed to both live and teach the wholehearted love for God before your children. Should they wonder what it means to follow Christ, this morning you are committing not only to give that answer to that question, but to be it. So if you're willing today to make such a sacred commitment, I invite you to respond to three questions with these words, I will, by the grace and mercy of God. Will you pray for them? regularly and raise them in fellowship of a church that worships God and teaches the word. Will you commit to train your children by teaching actively, communicating the truth of the word of God to them? Will you commit to train them above all things by your example as you follow Christ wholeheartedly and love him supremely? I'd like to invite any family, extended family, or your small group for these uh, families to come forward and stand with us. So parents, look around. The church is with you on this. You're not in this alone. So let's pray together and ask the Lord to bless these children. 
Father, we do bring these children for you, before you and ask you, Lord, to bring great blessings on them. We ask you to bring faith that one day, Lord, they will entrust their life completely to you. And so we pray for that right now, looking forward to that day. We pray for the parents, Lord, each one represented here, that they will not only teach the word, but live out the word of God before their, their children. And they, we pray, Lord, that as a community, we would also be a light to shine in each one of their lives that points towards you, that they might see our good works and glorify you in their own lives. And so we trust into your care, these children, the great blessing they are to us. In Christ's name, amen. You may be seated.